All right, welcome back to the channel. Max Tornui here. I'm sitting here with Petri. I'm going to ask you how to mis how to pronounce your last name in a second. Uh, Petri here has gotten over 10,000 euros back to back for two months now with our help. And uh, we thought we'd sit together and kind of share his inspirational story and how he got there and where he was before to show you that it is indeed possible to make your first $10,000 uh, from scratch as an online coach, as an online service provider. So if you like the idea of making money, if you like the idea of being your own boss with your own freedom business, pay attention now. Let's get started. Have you ever wondered whether there's more to life than a boring dead-end 9-to-5 job? Have you ever dreamed about breaking free, you know, traveling the world, making good money and just enjoying life? No more office dress code, no morning commute, no boss. This channel is for you. So here's to your freedom. Petri, um, you pronounce your last name Pumeki? That's pretty fluent, sir. <laughs> my finish, my finish is going getting better. Thank you very much. Uh, Petri, yeah, that's right. Petri, uh, Petri, you're coaching sales. You're an online coach for sales, and for the last two months now, you've made over 10k each time, right? Yeah, that's correct. A April and May, so also in the in the middle of the current the quarantine. How do you? Yeah, it? quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. Yeah, fantastic. It's absolutely crushing it. So, what exactly is it that you're teaching? So uh, I'm, I'm teaching uh, small entrepreneurs that are doing their personal sales themselves. And uh, also also I'm teaching uh, salespeople with a high part uh, commission in their pay. Uh, and I'm, I'm basically, I'm teaching them effective negotiation skills, uh, closing, prospecting, um, and also like uh, booking appointments, cold calling, you know, all mm -hmm. that jazz. Mm -hmm. and, and then referral sales and the whole, whole process and trying to uh, bank them a little bit more money. Sounds cool. Sounds cool. What, what was your, um, this is something I'm interested in. What was your, what was your background? How did you know the, the sales skills? So I've, I've, been, I've been working in sales for a little bit more than 10 years on and off. I mean, there's some university studies in between, but uh, I started with doing some heavy duty cold calling in uh, companies where you would make like 300 calls a day uh -huh. uh, <laughs> kind of numbers. And then, uh, I've been uh, supporting myself with different kinds of sales positions um, under my own own basically uh, company uh, since 2013. Most of it was as an as an insurance agent for a couple couple of uh, Finnish uh, major insurance companies. That's amazing. That's interesting. I think you know that's just like again like such a classical example. We get that a lot with our own clients. They have a skill, usually they have, and this, this, this is really, really key, they have a skill that they got from a job, and you know, at some point they said, okay, well, I could use that entire skill that I have now working for someone else, and I can you know, switch that over to working for myself, building my own freedom business from that, and you know, you're doing that now, and now you're teaching people with that skill, and that's, that's, that's pretty inspiring. Um, you're right now situated in Finland, right? That would be correct, yeah. Done better cool. Finland. And uh, you're just working from your home office, I suppose? Yeah, yeah, this is the place. I'm not going to show it. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's a mess, but <laughs> this, this is where I'm, where I'm hanging out right now. Uh, actually, I'm planning on moving to Barcelona uh, at the end of this year because like we were just uh, chatting for two sentences before we started this interview. The, the Finnish winters can be pretty dark, pretty heavy. So I, I think that... This is going to be the last time I'm going to be seeing snow involuntarily. <laughs> Love it. It's yeah, yeah. You mentioned that you're like, okay, now that it's summer, you can stay here until yeah. the summer is over in about a week. In <laughs> yeah, both days. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then okay, well, Barcelona is an e excellent choice. We have some of our clients and I have some personal friends living there as well, and uh, they absolutely love it. And it's, it's a definitely a wonderful place. And uh, you know, if you can work from wherever anyway, might as well work from Barcelona. And um, hold on, what was I going to say? Um, I mean, I mean, it's 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 a great thing. So how did you how do you get your clients? Uh, and I always ask that, just to clarify, you do not have a big brand, you do not have a YouTube channel or an Instagram or anything like that, right? Uh, if if you look really hard, you can find one video that I posted on YouTube about my car 10 years ago and i'm not going to tell you how to find it because it's super embarrassing and uh 
and in in my in my Instagram account, I can I can uh, tell you right up from here. I got um, three hundred and thirty followers. Okay, <laughs> nice. On on my personal account, and I've updated it the last time a year and a half ago. Okay, geez. Okay, so because that, because that's that's I'm looking you up right now as well. I even found you nice. Um, the thing is. That's what so many people always say. They're like, oh, it's only possible with a big brand and blah, and you need to build a big brand. But I always clarify with every client that, we, that we've that we helped build from scratch. We're like, you do not have a big brand because it's not necessary. Um, so yeah, out of curiosity, what does your what does your process look like? How do you acquire your clients? So I, I get all of my clients from LinkedIn. And uh, I, I get them by doing, well, first I, I started gathering, just uh, connecting with interesting people, browsing through uh, interesting conversations, posts, commenting, trying to make some, some good posts that people get interested in and, and so on and so forth. And, and then just having conversations, good solid conversations with people and then directing the conversation into getting more clients from them. And now, well, since I'm, I'm, I'm teaching sales, I, I do have to know how to do referral sales also. So yeah. that's a big part of my client acquisition right now. Yeah, you can mm -hmm. even go and check out my LinkedIn. I got under under a thousand connections. Yeah, that that's incredible. That you know you're doing you're doing a fantastic job with that. And yeah, I mean that's exactly what we teach. It's called manual lead generation, meaning you don't need a big brand, you don't need to have a YouTube channel whatsoever. It's called manual lead generation. You just find where your potential target audience is. You reach out to them, like you said. Petri, you, you have a, a conversation, you show them that you understand what you're talking about uh, and then you know you jump on a call with them, you give them some value and then you know you can pitch them if you really want to call it like that and then they can become your first clients. And also what you said here, uh, referral, referral is huge, don't underestimate that. Um, and, I mean even I'm still doing referral, right? I'm making multiple seven figures a year and I'm like still nice to be referred, you know, because at the end of the day if our clients are happy which is in my own interest to make my clients happy. I get referred and I get more clients and so on and so forth. And people often underestimate that. They underestimate the power of referrals. They think they got to build funnels and the web page and the webinar and all that stuff. Whereas in reality, manual lead gen easily gets you their first 10K. Then you got the foot in the door, you got a bunch of clients. And you know, usually people are connected with other people that are seeking the, the same things. So they can then refer you and they're like, hey, you've helped me. Can you help my friends? Can you help my colleague and so on and so forth? And, um, you know, ever since you've been uh, cracking uh, the 10K months back to back, we've gotten you into our advanced program. And in the advanced program, obviously, we're going to start with small niche branding stuff. We're going to help you scale the business. Obviously, next goal, Petra, is going to be uh, the 25K, which I don't think should be a big issue. And then after the 25K a month, we're going to hit the 50K a month and so on and so forth. And we'll just scale it up until until you say that's okay. <laughs> what's um, out, of, out of curiosity, this is maybe more interesting for me than for the viewer, what's your goal? Do you say 25K a month is fine or do you want to go all the way to 100K? Oh, I, I, would, be, I would be super happy to employ my first uh, employee, preferably maybe this year. And, uh, oh, easy, easy. And then, and then starting, starting with a, like, a, like I was t telling you about my, my plans to moving to Barcelona, to setting up a proper office. Nice. And, and I, I really want to make this into something proper. I want to make the processes like super fine. I want to make it system, systematized. Um, to be, you know, like uh, humble and modest, I want to re revolutionize the sales coaching that we do in this country. So. <laughs> I love it. Well, you know, you've come to the right place. We can definitely help you scale up, get your first key hires, get your office. Uh, that's that's for that's the stuff where it gets exciting for me personally, right? Once once we got a client that is a 10k, that's where I say, okay, now it gets interesting. Getting them to the 25k and so on and so forth. Before that, it's pretty standard. It's pretty proce standard procedure. After that, we can get a little bit more creative, which I'm also very excited about. Um, uh, here's what I'm curious about. Um, since you already had a lot of background in sales, since you're teaching that, what was like the biggest lessons that you've gotten from our Freedom Business Mentoring? Oh, well, uh, I mean, my, my sales are pre pretty solid, but you know, like I'm, I'm also always telling that the best salespeople are always looking for the plus 1%, you know, where can, mm. you, where can you make it just a little bit better in order to crack that one, one like super hard client or something like that. So 
I also got like like great tips from from the sales sales uh, lessons in, in FBM. Uh, but but as for the biggest value, I think that it's it's been probably making a solid product. Really, it's, mm -hmm. that's something that I really screwed up when I, I've been doing some consulting with my own company with some colleagues, mm -hmm. and and the pricing, the the making a product like, and uh, yeah, that that was probably the hardest part where I I really shot myself in the leg and got got, <laughs> got a black eye so to speak. Nice. A couple of times. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I'm glad we could help you with that. This is what we get often. People usually say the positioning, the what they can offer type of part helps them a lot. And yeah, of course, that's what we do as one of the first things in the uh, in our beginner programs. And uh, yeah, uh, absolutely great. Now, um, you said you want. Sorry, sorry go ahead. I, I, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I just wanted to add to that that uh, also finding the clients online. I had no clue how to do it when we hmm. started. Mm. I was just like, because I, I used to find my clients like uh, through social groups and, and, you know, like like the places where I was hanging out or the personal connections or business connections or something like that. And somebody was needing help. Somebody was mm -hmm. talking, somebody and, and it was referral based kind of sales. And when I started thinking about like, where can I find my clients when I started your course, uh, when you were saying that you're going to teach it how to how to find the clients online, I was just like, staring like with a blank stare like how the hell does this work <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> how to do it which is, which is super cool <laughs> nice nice well i'm glad I'm glad we could help you out with that as well um what is your what does your everyday life look like i, I bet a lot of people will want to know like do you, you get up at a certain time or I've, I've been trying to make it into a routine because i i want to take this seriously i'm 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 horrible at, at organizing so I, I I really have to pay attention to it. So I usually I wake up at, at around like eight thirty, something like that. I have my first coaching sessions. It depends sometimes nine o'clock, sometimes ten o'clock in the morning. Uh, before that, I just uh, have my morning rituals in order to wake up, get get myself a cup of coffee, and uh, then I try to be productive until about lunchtime. Then I usually take a, take a solid break to go and get my ten thousand steps. Nice. Now that it's nice, nice. Outside. Fantastic, yeah. Managed to do that now for a couple of months, like every day. It's great. It's awesome. It's awesome. And like, if I would be commuting to some somewhere uh, for you know half an hour in, in high traffic, how the hell are you gonna get your mm. exercise in in the middle of the day? There's zero chance. Yeah, I mean, I remember I I started. Uh, I have a treadmill desk, so I usually just walk as um. You know, replying to stuff. Uh, oftentimes, I have client calls like this, and I'm just on my treadmill desk. When I was in quarantine, when the quarantine thing happened, I was actually also in Finland, and um, I didn't have my treadmill desk with me, obviously. So I also just walked outside. The nature is so beautiful. I was a little outside, outside of Helsinki in Vanta, and you know, as it started becoming April, May, oh my God, you could walk through the forest. Those ten thousand steps. I would just put on podcast, Joe Rogan podcast, just listen to that. It was so great. And, and I've, I've talked about this in my day in the lives as well. It's such a nice thing. If you have, if, if you have your own business, you can work whenever you want and from wherever you want your health, your physical health really starts thriving from that because all of a sudden you have time to, to eat healthy. You know, like you said, you're not stuck in some commuter traffic. You have time to do your 10,000 steps a day, go to the gym, do the stretching and so on and so forth. So, Love the fact that you're doing the same. Yeah, and what what really happened with me, like like after I do this uh, short sports and, and and stuff, it's uh, after after that I usually try to be productive for, for a couple of hours. Then maybe I'm gonna have like a couple of couple of hours of chilling. I'm very very active in participating in the uh, in the coaching calls that you guys have. Nice. In, in the evenings and. Uh, yeah, and, and this, the, the thing that you said about taking care of your health, like when your schedule really allows it, I've also noticed that I sleep way better. Which, oh, yeah. Again, gives me more energy to do my stuff. And again, it's easier to go and get my steps. It's easier to get sleep. Uh, yeah, and it, and it just has, a, it's just like wonderful upward spiral. I, I actually felt the same. Someone asked me the other day about, Oh, when do you go to bed? When you wake up? And you know, right now I do have a little bit more of a routine, but usually I say, well, I go to bed whenever I want, and then I wake up eight and a half hours later. So if I go to bed at 3 a.m., eight and a half hours later, I'm going to set my alarm, 
And it's just such a beautiful thing. You never under, yeah, you always rested, you never underslept, you have the energy, and then you have the energy to kick ass at the gym. So now you're getting stronger, and that in turn makes you sleep better at night, and then you have this better, it's, it's just a wonderful thing. Um, how do you do it? Out of curiosity, private question, how do you do it with the sleeping because it's so bright outside? Do you have a sleeping mask or do you do darken your... It, that, that's actually, that, that's going to be one of my next acquisitions uh, after, <laughs> after making that cash. This, this is the only tool that I have is to lower the... Uh, mm. the well, in summer, it's probably bright as hell in Finland. Then. It is. But it's, yeah. it's also, it's, it's nice because uh, you need less sleep you're less less sleepy mm, that's, mm. that's also one of the reasons why i, I want to get out of here is like <laughs> winters you, you want to sleep like 12 hours and you yeah. feel rested yeah that's yeah i know how that feels well uh overall you've you've been crushing it petri like i said next steps for us are going to be the 25k which is probably fairly simple um we could get you to 25k a month alone we've done it before it should not be a problem and as you said like you want to start making your first key hires um Easily possible, should not be an issue. We've done it with many of our clients as well. And then we're gonna, after the 25K months, we're gonna hit the 50K months. We're gonna start automating much more of your lead gen process. And I'm very, very excited about that. And obviously we'll do that as you're moving to Barcelona. And um, anything else you wanna mention? Anything else you wanna share on YouTube with the viewer? Uh, <clears throat> well, I mean, I I think the thing that I've been trying with with a lot of businesses because I have business experience. I've been I've been supporting myself since 2013, right? Like I said, that's when when I when I uh, registered my my business. And uh, even as an insurance agent, I was employed as a, like I was a contractor, so I, I wasn't get paid mm. as paid a salary. I did random consulting gigs and, and stuff like that. And the stupidest stupidest thing is trying to figure it out <laughs> on your own without mm. any help, like. Yeah, sure. I'll just do this and then it's going to be fantastic. I'm just going to tell you that it's not. You're going to get your ass kicked. <laughs> and it's going to be humiliating. Uh -huh. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make you cry probably at some point. Like, it's just it's just a billion times easier to get somebody who, who's already been there, who, who knows it. I'm, I'm not saying that it's necessarily the, the FBM program, but it's, but it's the same thing, like if you have somebody who's already achieved everything, done all the mistakes and, and gotten all the help, like, but this is, this is the easiest way. Like you guys are doing this, I don't know how, how many times or like a thousand times already <laughs> yeah. with different people. So like also for you helping out the people, you encounter all, the, all their problems, right? Yeah. So, so all the variation of the, of, of the problems of people that are, uh, encountering those silly little problems that, that could hold you back for years. Yeah, yeah. And then, then just paying for the paying for the help. It's like a it's like a cheat code. I I can only wholeheartedly agree, and I love what you said there. I literally just jumped off a call with with my mobility mentor, uh, stretching and mobility and stuff like that, and. <clears throat> Just after getting off the call with him, he's like, okay, like we're gonna work on this. Like, you know, like he had me do some postures and he's like, okay, this is what we gotta work on. And and I'm also like, this call itself just taught me more than four years of trying to figure it out myself with suffering, you know, like I've I've had bad posture, I've had I'm an extremely immobile person, never stretched, you know, then you know. Classic, the classic, starting Google some things like stretch positions, try to stretch myself and stuff like that. And, and, and I literally shared this on my Instagram as well saying, please get a mentor for every area in your life that is important to you, get a mentor. And I'm not saying this because I want to sell my programs, by all means go buy somewhere else if you want. I don't need anybody's money at this point. I'll be fine either way, you know, but at the very least get a mentor because it shaves off just so many years of your own learning curves. It's, it, like you said, Petri, it, it saves you a lot of difficult moments, a lot of t tears. And uh, really, if, you know, if this channel stands for anything, if like, it is like pursue your dreams, get a mentor, and execute. It really is just that simple. So, Petri, I, I'm super happy that you mentioned that. Thank you very much for that. Um, 
And uh, yeah, we're gonna talk for, uh, for a couple more minutes after this. Uh, I just wanna say for you, when you said this sounds great, uh, you get inspired by Petri's uh, example, by his story. You also wanna become free as an online coach or as an online service provider. Then you can now go ahead and book a free consulting call either with me directly or with an expert from my team. There's a link down in the description. You use that link to book the call. On that call, we'll be looking at your situation. We'll be looking at what your goals are. We can help you get started. We can tell you what is what a good fit is, how much you could potentially make in your specific situation. If you don't know what it is that you could potentially be offering people, we can also tell you what, what, uh, what your strengths are because we can analyze your strengths. We can tell you what model fits well and how you can get started. The call is entirely for free, right? I, I keep mentioning that. All you have to do is you click the link down in the description or the link that appears somewhere here right now. And uh, uh, you, you go onto the page, you can read through the page if you wanna have more information. At the bottom of that page, you fill out the application. It takes you two minutes to fill out the application out, and then you can book the exact date and time where you want us to call you entirely for free and we can get you started, right? That easy, so thank you very much for watching. Thank you, Petri, really appreciate your inspiring story. And uh, maybe talk soon, bye-bye.